What other meanings do we have here? Any suggestions? Can you hear another meaning in this sentence? I smash the bees on the table with eyeglasses. Sir, no. you can't. Oh, oh, that's an answer. <laughs> Sir, have you the table with eyeglasses? Oh, good idea. <laughs> so imagine that the room is really lousy with bees. Not just two, but three bees, okay? <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> here is I smashed the bee. Where did I do that? So where am I doing that? On the table with eyeglasses. So here's <laughs> So I take this bee. Okay. Yeah. I take this bee. I take this bee from this table without eyeglasses. I'm not taking the bee on the table with eyeglasses. I'm taking this bee here. And what am I doing? I'm smashing him on this table with eyeglasses. Of course, there's another bee up there, but never mind. That one's later. Okay, here I go. Oh, oh. Some bees are harder to kill than others. You see, so what's happening there? I'm not actually on the table, but I could have been. I could have been on the table. I'm just too fat to get out. I could have been on the table. I'd be up there, me and my smashing beat up. Okay. So you see? It's clear that it's not the table on eyeglasses that's telling you which bee is getting smashed. It's telling you where the smashing is. <laughs> and so maybe where I am, too. Okay, that's four. But there's five. There's one more. Does anyone see the... Yeah. Brandishing my glasses at some other You use the glasses to smash the face. How as opposed to the wear of this Okay. So let, let me see if I <laughs> see if I got this right. Um, I don't understand. Say it Yeah. Now, have we already done? 
on you on the table with the glasses oh, over. I see. Okay, so <laughs> this would be a meaning. So, okay, we've got this prepositional phrase has modified table. It's named the table that something is on, either B or smashing. Uh, and we've also looked at this prepositional phrase modifying the VP. So in that case, it's telling you that I use the glasses to do the smashing, right? And the sentence we looked at for that was one where it said something like, I smashed the elf on the table <laughs> with the glasses. That was my first reading. Okay. This reading would be one where on the table does not modify B. It modifies smashing. And with the eyeglasses, modifies smashing too. Can you show, can you first tell me what that would look like? How would I parse that? So I want, what I want to do is make a sentence out of this where this prepositional phrase here and that prepositional phrase there, on the table and with eyeglasses, they both tell you something about a verb phrase. How would that go? Any volunteers? Yeah, see, it's, it's a lot, it seems easy when it's just me up here smashing all these bees. No volunteers? No one, you know, really, I'm not that dangerous. First of all, the eyeglasses, well, actually, they are kind of heavy and thick, but <laughs> that should make you feel more comfortable. Yeah. Sir, how would I parse this? Yes, you, chewing the gum. Yeah. So how am I going to put this together in such a way that each of these prepositional phrases modifies a verb phrase? That's what I wanted to do. Yeah. So what do I? How do I do that? Okay. So here's where we are, right? We've got a verb. We've got a noun phrase. We've got two prepositional phrases. And our job is to figure out how to put these all together so that they all fit in the verb phrase. That's the verb phrase of this sentence. Okay. So um, we have to kind of look at things that are next to each other and follow these rules and let them tell us, well, which two things together can make something. Well, for instance, we could notice that we've got a verb followed by a noun phrase here. And that's something a verb phrase can be, a verb followed by a noun phrase. And in fact, if you, if you look at these rules, the only place where you see a verb followed by a noun phrase here is in this rule. So if you see a verb followed by a noun phrase, there's no choice. That has to be a verb phrase. That's the only thing those two things can be. So these two are a verb phrase. Okay. So now I've got these grouped as a verb phrase, and I've got to figure out how to put that together with these two other things, so that in the end I have one big verb phrase. You with, you with me? This rule, this is the rule that introduces as many prepositional phrases as you want. This rule says, well, if you've got a prepositional phrase following a verb phrase, those two things can go together to make a bigger verb phrase. Right? And that's what we have here. So these two could go together to make a verb phrase. And this verb phrase is, well, this is the one I showed you with the slides a moment ago. This is a verb phrase where I'm smashing the B. And this is telling you where. I'm smashing the, I'm taking the B, and I'm smashing it on the table. You see? You see that? And again, now we've got a verb phrase followed by a prepositional phrase here. So same rule, this says that when you have those two things next to each other, they can go together to make a larger verb phrase. So that's what I'll do here. 
I'll put this VP and that VP together to make a bigger VP. You can see I've been in this classroom before. <laughs> we didn't have before. This is one that says, with the eyeglasses, is telling you something about that verb phrase. It's telling you what was used to, to do what? Well, to smash the B here. You see? Okay. So here's what this sentence means. Eyeglasses. Take this B here. Okay. Notice this B is not a B on a table. I'm taking the B, not the B on the table. I'm taking the B. This is a lot of fun, Martin. Thank you for letting me do this. <laughs> and now I take him to a table, very compliant B. It's a bit dated from earlier beatings. And now. Thank you. 